Hello, this is Alpha Mense, the assembly guide for the modular Saturn Tower using the Blue Log Design Bureau Saturn V. And I have a already completed E Saturn V. This is the default scale version. So the first thing you want to want to do after it's completed is use the offset tool. So click on the command module and raise it up. High, way up to the roof, almost to the roof. I know, so you have clearance down below for the launcher test, the launcher bait. At the regular, and do go to search. You can do Saturn launcher, it brings up all the base components. Like it's like the Saturn mobile launcher base standard size. And it's, it attaches with the top size 5 node in the flame bowl to the, the size 5 node that was added in using the EDB patch file that's included. I make sure you attach it to that top, that size fire node, not an engine node. That's you don't want it like that. We want that. You can tell because the base of the engine fairing should be just about even the deck of the, the launcher base. That done, you need an insert for the flame hole, so you grab the square one, the size square size one insert that goes down to the other size fire node. That snaps in place. Now we add the hold down arms. Saturn Fire uses these big, these type ones. Go around. So it knows on the insert itself. You have stack symmetry enables. Hit X, hit 4. No colliders on these arms themselves, so I'll use the offset tool. Now, yes. That's so almost sort of like that. That's good. Back suck tool. Next thing would be the three tail service masks. These have to be added separately because stack symmetry is already in it doesn't work with these weird angles like this. The Saturn Fire there's one on one side. Q will incorrect key to rotate it. It's shift E. Rotate five degrees the other way. Use your offset tool. The offset tool to move it in again, just I'll touch it again. There's no, no colliders on that end there, so you can flip it in a little bit and copy it. Two nodes here. That's for the that's for the tail service masts. And a little bit. In reality, the main service tunnel is kind. Of Run down, almost down the end of the stage, and these two of these trail service masks they hook into it. But this is the design feature of E Saturn V. Also, I forgot the. You need to rotate. Basically, the second stage, the S2 inner stage, and the S1C tank, and the S1C engine mount. You want to rotate at 45 degrees by holding Shift Q or Shift E. And the what? That puts the engine fairings at the 45 degree angle positions, not 90 degree positions as the default station is. So the engine fairings will collide into the hold down, hold down supports. This is how the Santa 5 was oriented on the actual launch mobile launcher. Looking at it, this would be a white black split right between down in the middle there. Okay, then. Anyone? on. I'll probably add, add, update the patch. I will actually update the patch to auto rotate to rotate these sections. I'll have to do it. Put them in the right spot. Let me take another one. These will need to be rotated. If Q twice, but five degree, other way. Oop, let's click I didn't copy like. I feel that. Okay, here we go. And then we can offset it. That's good enough. Now that's done. It's also important for now if you attach it to the bottom of a rocket. The pad won't will height be in the right position on the pad. Wanna move it down. Grab the command module again. We'll 
Good part. Well done, so the legs are into the floor. I think this is okay. And mine's already, this one's already be moved. You want the medic to put the front legs down so their front parts are in the white portion of this circle. And like this. You got some leeway. They're inside the circle, then the rear legs will be overhanging the pad. Too far f outside, in front of the circle, then the front legs will be, the flame hole will be too far forward and won't line up with these pads. Rating. This one's all, I moved. This was already a, a seed craft file. Already in the right position. But you want to grab the command module and move, move it forward. Move the whole thing if it's not. Because the flame hole is all set 5.5 meters from the center point. That thing looks like the place. Now you can start building the tower. to Saturn Tower. Got red and gray in on both here, so I'll do red. The total. I'll show the gray, red, gray, gray parts. Want to do a base, and Saturn V uses the angled base. Angled base. Does the elevator on it, and that's first. Saturn V, BDB Saturn V, you need the 8X tower section. Eight, eight times floor section, two times tower section, and the crew section, access section, another a one way floor section. I move it down a little more so you can access the other part. Then the top section, then the crane. Okay, does now that's not can add the swing arms. I, I made a special set of swing arms just for BDB. They have their own title, they have a special BDB title, so I'll do tower arms and a search for tower arm BDB. Red. Brings up all the, uh, brings up all the arms, including the ones for the V scale. Standard scale, we don't want, we just want the 5.625 and 3.75 and the one two and a half meter for the service module. And the arm started at 9, the number 9 to 1 from top to bottom, so 9 was the crew arm. If that's a, that's not a special one, that's just standard. Regular tower crew. Uh, two and a half meter crew arm. Attaches to right to the node here is on the crew section. This should be already real pre line. Yep, sorry, already pre line for the BD fan module. Now uh, we can go back to the other arms. Our arm. Good. Both arm 8 is service module arm. Put it on this node here. These will have to be adjusted. Kind of a generic section, not specifically designed for. I want to move it down a little bit. That umbilical was located, connected right to that. Was an umbilical plate right here where the BDB Saturn Five has a radiator. That's where the umbilical plate for the Saturn the service module was, was located. So if I'd be trying to be realistic, you would move it down so it's like there. Yeah, like that. Next comes the arm seven, the S four B but yeah. B point seven five meter for the default scale S just S four B forward arm. I'm sure we don't run out nodes, so we'll put it up here. Put it down. Now reality the uh, had to at the S four B forward arm had also had the limb <coughs> excuse me. The limb umbilical, which kind of attached into the base of the SLA. So just kind of position it like this. 
Next comes arm six, the S4B aft arm. 0.75 meters. Just down to the and back down to of the right below in the middle of the bottom part there. In the BDB Saturn Five tanks don't have the umbilical plates, connector plates on them. Next comes R5, the S2 forward arm. 5.625 meters. This would be a summer up and the middle, near the top, and not right at right at the top, right around there. Next comes arm four, just just to at intermediate arm. This was the main arm for the second stage. Had all the main fuels. A lot, a lot of pipes on them, hoses. And had two two umbilicals, the top one and one the big pipe one on top. I can measure the big wide and a big wide plate on the bottom there, which goes all the way down almost to the around. Yeah. Here. Comes the arm three, the S2 aft arm. 5.6. This has had no umbilicals, it was only used for access to the second stage. That's why it has just had these just had work platforms, which I also made a simplified version of. Just pretend these are platforms. I didn't want to cook every single decking footing. And it kinda of, kinda of tucked up. Up there. Then comes arm two, the S1C forward arm. That's arm two, yeah, S1C. There it is. Up. This ball to the top of the. Come on. And generally, the space between these three, this little group of three, was about even. That's good enough there. Then the last arm would be the arm one, that's one C F intertank arm. As the name says just flies. Connected onto the inner tank area, the corrugated part. Just slightly above center. Like that there. Now all other things has been placed. I need to set up the staging in the action groups. I use you have to use action groups if you want these to be, everything to retract and lift off because they're all animations and not stageable. One that can be staged is the crane. So put that first on the crane decoupler. Get a crane that's can be decoupled. That can be staged. And the engines. This one's the engines. And the rest, you can leave the base anywhere. Mostly they will decouple it by action group, so it won't matter where it is. I Me, mean, I like the action group while everything helps, so. And my, I mean, it depends on your parent, this is why I do it. I like to use action group 10 for the crew arm. Click on the action group and toggle. And yes, one S2 aft arm was retracted at some point in the last Part of the countdown. Why is this due to the crew arm? The nine would be the S1C aft arm. That was retracted at T minus 30 seconds. Lower arms were retracted first so to get them out of the way of the well the first stage and the F1s they were coming up real fast. I have to use action group eight for the S1C forward arm. I go with that. Right, everything else goes into one big action group. That'll be I use the one the lift off group. And now we're gonna move it up again. Now we're gonna move it up. Oh no, just in the base. There we go.
Actually, move. And the base, launcher base, that's the couple. Their hold on arms, which are symmetry, so I'll just toggle those. These tail service masts, as we've done separately. Toggle again. Toggle. Now the other the arms, not those arms. The arms are are retracted. Upper five. Toggle. And toggle. That should be it. On uh, the last, on uh, the last thing is to, to adjust the elevator. You're going to use the elevator crew elevator. Click on the, the power base, the angle of the base section. That's a deploy limit to A7 for the crew arm, crew floor. So puts it right, makes it stop for the crew arm. You have to bring the elevator down first. Now it's set. And that's the assembly guide. Launch you do is to get the space bar and decouple the crane. He's Q and E keys, or Q, Q key, Q key to rotate it 90 degrees in the clockwise position as it was done in reality, but whatever way you want. It was it rotated well before launch. And stage, you know, start the F1s. Then after about four seconds, hit the, hit one, the action group to decouple the, well, the lift-off sequence. And well, before that, you hit the yeah, we can manually right retract the lower two arms or use the action groups as I did. And that's it. And goodbye.